everyone. Happy Saturday. It's You Can Too Can Saturday. I welcome all of you back. If you are new, welcome to the show. I'm Denise. Artist at Heart Paint Party is my business. Oh my gosh. So the city that I live in, I don't know if you guys can hear that. The first Saturday of the month, they always do the test of the siren. So if you hear that, that's what's going on. Not an emergency, just a practice test. I don't know if you can hear it. I can hear it. Okay. So anyways, welcome. I'm so excited to have you. And we're going to do lots of fun, cartoony stuff today. Well, what happens when we make a mistake? We do it again, and we do it again, and we do it again, and we get better at it, right? Well, yesterday I made a mistake, and when I was doing the Alexa, I said the wrong song. So we're gonna yesterday. If you weren't here, we did wish flowers, blow flowers, and make a wish. <sighs> so I want Alexa play "I Wish" by Stevie Wonder. I don't have an Alexa, and I can't play music, but I can pretend. So. I love playing Alexa songs with you guys because I can't play music. It'll get blocked out. All my sound will get blocked out because of the copyright. So yesterday, instead of saying that song, I said, I wonder, because that was what was on my mind. And the song is I Wish. One of my favorite songs. I love Stevie Wonder. I love dancing around the house with Stevie Wonder. So it's a great, fun song. And I made a mistake. So I'm fixing it today because that's what we do. We do it again. So anyway... If you don't have an Alexa, play some of the songs I'll recommend today or play your own stuff. I just feel that music integrated with art is extremely soothing and really just helps you relax. And did you notice my shirt today? It says Pura Vida. Uh, I, I don't say it properly, but it, it's from my shirt in Costa Rica. I went to Costa Rica several years ago. I studied with Miami University and Earth Expeditions. I got to visit the schools in Costa Rica and explore the rainforest and learn about the environment. It was incredible. And this means simple life or pure life. And it's the way in Costa Rica they say hello, goodbye, chill, everything's cool. So it, they're very laid back, and uh, I love the shirt, so I thought it was very creative. We have the sea turtle, we have the toucan, we have all kinds of other fun stuff on the shirt. So I had to come home with that. So let's just jump right in. I'll show you some other stuff I came home with a little bit later, but I like to jump right in by warming up your hands, get them all ready to make some cartoonies. I'm going to use black marker. You can use any supplies you have, pencil, pen, crayon, color pencil. Sidewalk chalk, whatever it is. I saw those really awesome sidewalk chalk pictures yesterday. I'm gonna do a couple of different toucans. I put some up here. There's no right or wrong. You can make your toucan in any direction that you want, any way you want, any color you want with any supply you have. All right, so let's start. Well, you know, we should start with his beak because that is like the coolest part of him. So I'm just gonna do a line like this. And then I'm going to come back around. And then I'm going to put a little line underneath it, like that. And I'm going to go around and down, over and back up. And I'm going to go around it and down, down. Down, wavy tail, up. I'm going to give him an eyeball, circle, circle in the middle. So I'm going to make his feet look like they're hanging on to a branch. So I'm going to first draw a branch going from off the page across. So I'm doing a diagonal line. And then his little claw can be on the branch. And I'll finish the line. He has his other little foot over here. You can put some leaves on it. You can have whatever you want to. So this is just our little practice. I did several practices. So we've been doing different stuff, some harder, some easier. The toucan is a little bit harder. Yesterday's was really pretty easy. So if you get 
you know, upset because you don't like your toucan, you're going to do it again and you're going to do it again and you're going to do it again and again and again and again. So I just made, I really did. If you saw my table, I have about a hundred toucans. So just keep doing it till you like it. The eye will change the look, the way the line on the beak will change the look. You can curve it a little bit up to make him look happy. Like he's smiling. You can close his eye. Like he's taking a nap. Totally up to you. Again, you decide. So I'm just going to do another cartoony toucan over here. Let's start with his beak again. So it's an arched line. Another arch line. Close it. Bottom of the beak. Go down. This one I'll make feathery. I'll do his feet first on this one. You know, he's hanging on to a branch. We don't have toucans in Cleveland, Ohio. Toucans live in Central, Costa Rica's in Central America and, and South America. That's where they live. They eat mostly fruit. That's why this guy says, I love fruit. And this one says, you can, you can. Circle, circle color it in. This line, his belly, his wing. And you can name your toucan. You guys can start coming up with toucans. Let me welcome, Joe won't come on the screen, but Joe, my nephew, Rachel's brother, is 15 and he is running the show today behind the scenes. So welcome, Joe. And he is going to be messaging you guys back. So when you guys are messaging in and talking to each other, Joe will be the one responding to you. Joe's also doing the banners and he's going to bring everybody on the screen later today. So that's awesome. Thanks, Joe. You're doing a great job. So again, if you guys have any questions, just put it in the message and you guys answer each other. So if you've been doing this for three weeks, you can help the people who are doing it for the first time today. So that's, you know, a, the great part about this is you're helping each other. If you want to post your pictures, you can check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party. You can tag me at Artist at Heart Paint Party. You can email me at artistatheart.org. You can also message me through Facebook and send me your pictures if you can't figure it out and I'll post them for you, which is awesome. If I post your pictures, in order for me to tag you, you have to like or follow the page. Otherwise, you won't be able to come up when I try to tag you. So I'm getting these beautiful pictures and I'm trying to tag them, but I, I can't because, again, they just forget to like or follow me. So there are some silly cute toucans and again you don't have to be done so you know when you go on vacation and you want to buy stuff to bring home so i went to costa rica and of course i wanted to bring home a lot of stuff and one of the things i brought home which i thought was so cool i got it from my classroom <laughs> it wasn't so small this is a toucan tire oh my gosh i love them so much so this is made out of wood and this is an old recycled tire and this hangs outdoors i actually had it in my classroom for years and now it hangs outside on my deck so i love it and when i got it in costa rica you know they didn't have the guy was like a little place on the street and he didn't have shipping or anything so i had to carry that like a purse through the airport from Costa Rica to Cleveland. And if that wasn't enough, I didn't want my toucan to be lonely. So I got a parrot to go with him. <laughs> so I have both of these in my classroom again. So this is the parrot. Isn't that so cool? It's so creative. You want to talk about thinking outside the box. So these places like Costa Rica or even the islands in Australia, they, you know, don't have garbage everywhere like we do. A lot of the places you have to just carry around your own garbage because they don't have garbage cans. So Costa Rica, they don't have access to get rid of all these old tires. So an artist started making things with them. And so I bought two. One fit in my suitcase and the other one I had to carry. But I've had them now for years and I love them. So I just wanted to share those with you because I thought they're super fun. And let's get going on the canvas. Now, if you do not have canvas, do not worry about it. I like to do mine on 16 by 20 canvas with acrylic paint. You are welcome to use any supplies you have indoors or outdoors. Yesterday, someone posted their giant low flower on the sidewalk. They wrote beautiful words. 
If you haven't looked, go on to the Artist at Heart Paint Party page. You can see all the amazing artworks from yesterday or from the last. This is our third week. This is our first Saturday. This is class number 16. If you've been following all along, it's amazing. So we're going to just keep doing this till you guys go back to school. That's the plan for now. When that's going to be, we don't know. But for now, we're just going to go day by day and have a good time. So I'm going to draw in black marker so you can see it on the canvas. You do not have to keep up with me, okay? You can go back and rewind it. You can finish it later. I always go back into my blow flowers. I'll add more words. I'll go back into my under the sea artwork and add more coral, uh, more starfish. You can always go back to your artworks and keep adding them or do them again. Totally up to you. So I'm going to draw mine in black marker. Let's start with that big beak again. So I'll draw the beak and then I'll talk to you guys. Almost like a rainbow line. And then I'm going to connect it. Then the bottom of his beak, and I'm going to connect it. So do you know what your nails and your hair is made out of? Did you say it? Did I hear you say it? Keratin. Yes. Your nails and your hair are made out of keratin. Well, the beak on a toucan is made out of keratin, which means it's very light. So his beak is very, very light, even though it's so big. Proportionately, it's about a third of the size of the entire uh, toucan. And his beak average is eight inches, depending on the size of the toucan. So that's the average. All right, so let's keep going. Oh, yeah, let's keep going and then I'll. So it's hard for me to draw from the top and the side, but I don't want to block the screen. I'm going to, I'm going to put a tree there. So I'm going to jump over a space where I'm going to put the tree. That way it'll look like he's sitting behind the tree when I put the tree there. That's the branch that he's sitting on. I'll put his, I'll do his feet and then I'll put the branch. Oh, I forgot. Yes, of course I can. Sorry, guys, I forgot about those. I'm, and I'm going to make it a little bit simpler. So, again, I get carried away when I'm painting, and I've done toucans a lot. So I, I'm actually a Guinness artist, so I do the toucan, which is one of the mascots for Guinness. So I paint toucans a lot. I love them. I think they're so pretty and beautiful. So anyways, this one is a little bit more intricate. You can make yours as simple or as intricate as you like. So let's do another line here. Are you catching up? How's it? Is it better now? All right, so I'm gonna um, play one of my favorite songs from when I was a little kid. Ready? Alexa, play Saturday Night by Bay City Rollers. Now you guys gotta tell me if it works. I don't have an Alexa. So Joe and I were practicing this morning to see if his Alexa would play. Now I have music in my house, so I would just play it and dance around. S A T U R D A Y night. So again, I'm not. I, I shouldn't sing. I don't think you want me to sing. But hopefully, you guys have some kind of music. And again, that's just a really fun jump around the house kind of a song. You can play it tonight. So there's our two cam. I wanted to put some poems on here. So tomorrow's Palm Sunday. I am a Christian, and I celebrate Palm Sunday. And uh, Easter time is actually my favorite holiday for uh, many reasons, but uh, today is a special day for me as well because of my grandmother. So my grandmother actually is the person who taught me my very first bird. I remember sitting at her kitchen table when I was very little and she would sketch out birds and teach me how to draw birds, which is a, an extremely fun memory for me. And so I am going to draw some palms 
for Palm Sunday, but there are palms in the rainforest and the jungle. You can make palms. You don't have to make palms. You can make regular leaves. You can do exotic flowers. You can just do a blue sky. Again, it's your artwork. I'm just trying to give you guys ideas. I believe a lot of people have a favorite holiday and I think a lot of people love Christmas and I love Christmas too, but I feel that Christmas has gotten out a little, a, a little out of control with monetary gifts and I don't believe that's what it's about. I love homemade gifts. I love being together. I love people being extra specially kind to each other and I love that people give to each other but I don't necessarily believe it's about you know bigger and better things every single year so uh, I think sometimes we lose the meaning of certain holidays okay so how'd that song go did you guys play that song did you like that song now your toucan you if you guys look up pictures of toucans a lot of times this part around the face and right about here, like lower neck, that's white or yellow. So you can make it solid white. You can leave it the white of the paper. You can color it yellow. Usually in all the pictures that I looked at and the two hands that I saw, their feet are blue. A lot of times the ring around the eye is blue and their beaks can be lots of different colors, spectacular colors, bright colors. So I would definitely use bold, bright colors. Again, you don't have to paint the background. You can add flowers. You can make it as fun as you want to. So you ready to start? Again, you can draw, color, shade, pencil, whatever you have. So I'm just going to jump right in. I'm going to, I like to paint light to dark. So I'm going to start with my yellow and I'm going to start with this part of his beak. And then I'm just going to take some orange and at mine, I'm going to mix a little bit of yellow into it. So when you mix yellow and orange, you get like the color of Kraft macaroni and cheese, like that fake orange color, but it's really a pretty color. It's like really bright orange, orangey yellow. So I'm just mixing them together. So, it, you know, it's not exactly like just yellow and then just orange and then red. You want to blend it. And then I'll scoop up a little bit of a deeper orange. I like to see my brush strokes. I think that's what makes the painting. And I like when the brush strokes follow the shape of whatever it is I'm painting. So it's slightly curved. I'll show you up close. So I'm still working on blending it. You can put red in it. I'm going to put a little bit of red in it. And I wanted to add Saturday, what was happening after the first week, you know, when we did this three weeks ago, a lot of the kids are now back in school online and they're all doing their classes. You know, it's just like a schedule with school. So they're not able to join us during the week at noon. And I thought, in order for them to do it live where they can interact and come on the screen again, I would add the Saturday. So from now on, Monday through Saturday at noon. And I'm really hoping that some of you that were on the first week that have not been able to join us are here and will come on the screen today. So again, I'm just going to do my whole big red and orange. I'm just using another red right here. Pressure's coming. And then this part and his face, I'm going to do white with a little bit of yellow. If I just did it white, then you wouldn't really see it. So I just scooped up a paintbrush. I'm going to do in here. 
Again, you can leave yours white, you can make it yellow, you could do it whatever color you want. How about those Bay City Rollers? Did you like that? You guys can start thinking of toucan names for me. What's what's a good toucan name? You can go ahead and message it into Joe and we can come up with the best toucan name. And then that part's gonna be black. You can always highlight the lines later with blue. You can do gray. There's no right or wrong where you start. I'll just start at the bottom so I don't block the screen too much. I don't wanna block the canvas when I'm doing this. So I can put those lines back in later, again, with any color, blue, white, not add them at all. And you do not have to keep up with me. When I do this, when, when I do this in person the, with the paint parties, I do it step by step. I go slower and the party is usually an hour to two hours, depending on what we're painting. And of course, then we do it all together step by step. We're on a video here and I want you guys to work on this all day. You know, again, I want you guys to go back to it. Take your time. You do not have to keep up with me. I've done this many times. Let's do his wing. I'm going around his feet. And again, I'll go back in later and add some lines to define the wing and the feathers at the bottom on his tail. So I would do the branch brown, but you can do your branch any color you want to. So now my brush is going horizontal, horizontal. So I got a little bit of red in my brown paint. Did I mean to? No. Do you, does anybody know that I didn't mean to do that? No? Well, I'm like telling you it's a secret. But I think it actually looks kind of cool. So many times your mistakes can end up being a really cool part of your artwork. And no one has to know it's a mistake. And how about some pretty green palm trees? Palm leaves, we'll just do the leaves. You can do whatever you want to. And I'm getting close to the time where I'm going to ask you to come on. You do not have to be done. You can be, you know, in the process of painting, because that's always fun to see you on camera as you're doing your artwork. You can show us your favorite artwork that you've created in the last three weeks. You can tell us where you're from. And... The things I want you to remember, do not have any other electronics near whatever device you're working on. So if your phone's by you, or if you have an iPad in addition to the computer, because I think that adds to the echoing. So move that away. Also close all your extra tabs on your computer. So all those extra tabs can cause some uh, delays, some echoing. and turn your volume down, but not mute. Do not mute your computer, because then we can't hear you. So you just turn the volume down. And take out earbuds if you have earbuds in.
Are you thinking of good toucan names? You can, toucan. I like you can, toucan. Tootsie, Tootsie Toucan. Tammy. Floyd. Herbert. And again, you can make yours as detailed as you want, as simple as you want. Could you put more than one toucan on? Sure. Could you do a toucan for everybody in your family? Absolutely. Think outside the box. Be different. Could your toucan be eating some mango? Mm, yeah, I, I think I need some mango too. How are you coming? How's it looking? Joe, you can go ahead and give them the link to come on. Joe will put the link in, and you guys can click on it. And then there's a green room and the green room's below where we can see everybody come in. And it only lets six people in at a time. So then if you can't get in, you just keep trying the link. Just keep trying the link until there's an open space. And then it's like a waiting room. And then Joe will bring you in on the screen with me. And you can share, again, where you're at today. Even your practice drawings, your sloppy copies, all those sloppy copies that you made today. And you can share those. You can share your past artworks, whatever you want to share. So, so you can say where you're from and whatever you want to share with us. If you want, you can add some yellow in your leaves. You can add some white to make them lighter. Joe, do you know how to do the link? Hi. Hi. You're in the room. Hi. So this is my toucan. Oh, that looks fantastic. Okay, and then I really liked the Tropical Tuesday. That looks really nice also. Oh, that looks fantastic. Thank you. Where are you from? Springfield, Ohio. Thank you. Hi. Hi. This is my toucan so far with some. That looks great. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hey, Danny. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? This is that looks fantastic. Is me? This is too. That was great. Wow. Hi. This is my two can. Very I'm nice. From Manchester, Kentucky. And thank, thank you for you. doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. Hi. Hi. This is I'm Alexa Macchio from Churchill, Pennsylvania, and this is my two can. That looks fantastic. Thank you. I love how you're doing this every day. Thank you so much. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm Ava Turek, and so far this is my coloring thing. Um, another one of my amount of what you've done for me, I really love it, is I made this on Thursday, the Claude Monet one. 
That looks beautiful. I really like it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry. That's my dad. And um, hi, dad. so goodbye. Oh, I said hi, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 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 This is my toucan. Ooh, that was I cool. named him Zazu. Zazu. From the Lion King. Oh, yeah. Cool. Nice. Anyway, um, this is my brother. He hasn't gotten on yet. Hi. Now we. Oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. This is my art so far, and this is my favorite art from the past couple of years. Oh, sorry, night. It looks great. Thanks. And I've been doing it since you first started. That's fantastic. Thanks for watching. Hi. Hi. This is my toucan. I put it a little some eggs and a little flower and a butterfly yeah nice. i love all the stuff you added to it thanks Thank my name's you. Bye. Thank you. bye oh there you are <laughs> yeah you're on speak up Canton, Ohio, you have your own little art gallery. We've been doing art with you every day. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank you for having us. Sir. <laughs> Hi. This is my toucan so far. I've been using pastels. Really nice. Um, I'm from Virginia. And then this is my favorite from last week. Ooh, the owl. Do you have a name? What? A man for your owl? This, yeah, this is my owl. I named it Harry Wig Potter. Love it. Okay. Thank you. Hi, my name is Evelyn. This is how far I got on my two can. That was great. And this is um mine. Hi. Hi. I didn't make anything. Oh. <laughs> Too busy playing today. Oh, okay. You can do it later. I didn't make anything at all. Later. I'm going to check. Thank you for what you do. Thank you yeah. for watching. Oh, hi. Hello. We, we, are, are, uh, we are originally yeah. from Japan. But we live in Hudson, Ohio, and this is our so far. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> we are very grateful for you doing this. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Thank much. you. We love you. Thank you. I'm grateful for you guys. Hi. Hi. This is my background so far. And this is my shirt with a toucan on it. Oh, I love it. Thank you. I love when you guys dress for the occasion. <laughs> Thank you. This is my toucan so far. I'm Riley. Thank you so much for doing this class. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. The occasion. <laughs> Thank you. This is my toucan so far. I'm Riley. Thank you so much for doing this class. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys. Hi. Hi. Hi, Biggies. Oh, oh nice. Here. But yeah. I'm not done yet either, but this is mine. You look great. Um, I made this a few years ago. Oh, and that's awesome. My Thank you. Really nice girl. Thank you. Hi. Um, this is mine so far. And I named my tutu the toucan. Oh, I like that. Thank you. Hi. 
You're next. <laughs> Jay, come on. Hi, my name is Jalen, and I'm from Dayton, Ohio. And and this is my favorite. I love that. Is that a baby canvas? Yeah. yeah. That's so cute. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. And then I did this one too. Oh, nice. Thanks. That's really nice. Thank you. Wow. Okay. I only got a little bit choked up, you guys. Again, that's this is my favorite part. My favorite part is seeing what you're doing. I would not do this if you weren't watching. So I would be at home by myself painting my picture without interacting with you guys, right? So when I see what you're doing with me, it like it just touches me. It's amazing. So again, you guys can go back into it. Add some yellow, add some white. If you don't want it as bright, you can soften your color. You can do your background. I just put a little bit of yellow in my leaves. I can go, again, back into this artwork and add to it. Now, I'm going to teach you a trick, too. So if there's, I, when I did this, I think I made his head really, really big. So what I did was I just covered it up with a leaf. You would not know that. So this part right here originally was a mistake. So I was like, I'm just going to put a big leaf there and cover it up and no one will know what's underneath it, which is the case. You guys didn't know. Well, when I was in art school, what I learned was that one of the most challenging things to draw and paint are hands and feet. So a lot of artists would do portraits and artworks but the hands would be in someone's pocket or maybe they would be behind them. So many times artists did not paint hands or feet because they are very, very challenging. So we did study a lot drawing hands. So maybe that's something you could do later today. It's just look at one of your hands and try to draw it. It's, it's interesting and a challenge. It's, it's a tough one, but I definitely want to get into more things like that and portraits and balance and symmetry and other things. So I'm going to work tomorrow on coming up with some new projects for next week. So next week, again, we will be on at noon, uh, Monday through Saturday. And if you have any ideas that you want me to do, again, you can write them in. You can message me. If you have photos, please check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party or tag me at Artist at Heart Paint Party or message me, email me. Those are about all of the ways that you can do that. I haven't figured out uh, YouTube yet. So again, if you're on YouTube, you can always email me at artistatheart.org. And if you guys just want to wait a little bit more, if you were trying to get into the green room and you couldn't, you could get in there now. And I forgot to give myself blue paint. So I'm just going to grab some blue paint real quick. Now, do you have to do the, the whole background could be green. Actually, maybe I should do that. I have a lot of green and white left. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some light green. I've used so much blue because blue is a great color, right? So what I'm doing, I'm just mixing some green and some white together because I don't want to waste it. And I could just do it light green. I could do the whole background light green. It doesn't have to be blue. I could make a rainbow. I can make more toucans. I liked how some of you added, you know, you could do a nest, eggs, butterflies. Tropical flowers. You guys do not need me to do this all weekend. You have all weekend so you guys can explore, re-watch some of your favorite videos, try some of your artwork again, try some new stuff, try doing different things. One day I want to do a monkey. I definitely want to do people. And also, you guys, again, you can start thinking about stories, stories that you can write about your animal. Maybe you want, went on a safari. Maybe you went into the rainforest. I did. I have to tell you, I've only gone ziplining one time. 
I did it in Costa Rica. I zip lined across the jungle and it was pretty amazing and scary at the same time. So it was a fantastic experience. I was as high up in the clouds, like I was ziplining through the clouds. That's how high I was. <laughs> Woo! It was crazy, scary, but fun. Again, I was with a bunch of people who knew what they were doing, very experienced, which I think is really, really important. Again, I'm just choosing to do this one like pale green and yellow and we want to have contrast. So see how close that green is there? It almost looks like one big leaf. So I'm going to put a little bit more white in it so that it has contrast. You guys really kept up with me today. Usually you don't get as far as I am, so I'm impressed. Again, you don't have to go fast. Today I went fast. And you know what else you guys can start doing? You can also message in your favorite songs. And I, what I was thinking about doing for next week is I was thinking about letting you pick the Alexa songs. So maybe, did I do all the Alexa? Oh, I for, Joe, did I do the other Alexa song? Did I do all three? I can't remember. Okay, last Alexa song. Alexa, play Saturday in the Park by Chicago. This is another good song. Saturday in the park, I think it was the 4th of July. Now I'm not allowed to sing, so I, I don't want to get muted. A lot of my videos end up getting muted because there's music out in the background. Oh. <laughs> Let's see how it's coming, Danny. Wow! That is amazing. That's, that looks great, Danny. Thank you. And again, you guys, think of a name for your toucan and then create a story. My toucan, my toucan is you can toucan. I get that name. You can toucan is getting ready for lunch. You can toucan is going to find some mango. I was telling you guys before about their beak made out of keratin and how light it is. And they can't, they don't have enough energy to fly long distances in one period. So a lot of times when you see them, they're in the trees or they're on the ground and they hop a lot, kind of like our bunny, our bunny hop. But they, they hop around on the ground. And then when you see them, they fly a little bit. Thanks, Danny. That looks great. More leaves. Put some more leaves on there, Danny. I'm almost done, you guys. Last chance to get in the green room. No one's in there now, so if you were clicking on before and you couldn't get in, now is the time. Hi. 
This is my fitness toucan. What? You want to do the White House? Can we do the White House and the United States flag? Ooh, I like that. I like that. Thank you. That's a great idea. You're Sorry, welcome. thank you. Sorry, Bye. we're good. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if she meant to do that. We'll give her one more minute while I finish up my painting. And again, you guys, yourself, you can look up songs that have the word Saturday in them. You can look up songs that have the word bird in them. You can look up songs that have toucan in them. You can outline it in black. If you want to outline it in black, you can leave it the way it is. You can write a word on it. You can, I could write Pure Vita, and I want you guys to have a Pure Vita day. Pure Vita, live simply, enjoy your life. Uh, is Bailey coming on? Hi, Bailey. Hi. Um, I had an idea to do, like, kids doing an Easter egg hunt. Oh, like an artwork of that? Yeah, or um, an Easter egg basket or something like that for Easter. Okay, thank you. Good idea. Sam the Toucan from Sam, That's a good one. I love that. Sam the Toucan. So remember, Pure Vita, everything is cool. Hello, goodbye, and uh, until we meet again, which is Monday. So I will see you guys on Monday at noon. Have a beautiful, wonderful weekend. And oh, we got one more. Hi, Ben. See you guys on Monday. Wow. I finished the can. And I will be I'm gonna name it um fruit fruity tutti the toucan. I love it. All right, I just always feel bad if I cut you guys off and you're waiting in the green room. And because it's delayed when we end the broadcast, then inevitably someone pops up. So again, I'm just gonna say Pure Vita till Monday noon. I will see you guys then. Be safe, stay home, and enjoy creating. Joy, you can end the broadcast.